Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm here in an undisclosed location in Detroit. We're looking at the new generation of the Sierra Heavy Duties. In this video, we're gonna have a variety of experts from GMC with us. They're gonna walk through the different details in the truck, what's new, marketing angle, we're gonna talk about interiors and exteriors, and do a lot of stuff on this new, beautiful truck, which by the way, Vader Chrome, big fan. So let's get started on all that right now. All right, so up first we're with uh, Chaz Russell. I'm the uh, CR Marketing Manager for Light Duty and Heavy Duty. Okay, so what do we got here, Chaz? Well, we're really excited uh, to, to show you our new 2024 Sierra Heavy Duty, and we got a lot to talk about with this new truck, um, specifically with the one sitting here behind us, our lead vehicle that we're showcasing, the first ever Denali Ultimate trim level. So we've rolled this out with our, our 22 model year mid-cycle light duty. Uh, you see it introduced on, on the Yukon, which we have here in this showroom. Really excited to bring it forward uh, in heavy duty where Denali is a big player for us. Uh, you know, over 40% of our mix uh, today for heavy duty. So uh, we're really excited to bring this product to market. And I might be a bit biased as I've driven the half tons, all that kind of stuff, but my lord, is it beautiful. Like, holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably, I mean, I don't know, I just got to turn here, but we know we have interior designer coming up, but it is probably one of the best looking interiors I've ever seen in a GMC product. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're really pleased with it. The team did an outstanding job um, engineering in terms of capability, but certainly in the design. Uh, we've got brand new uh, uh, illuminated uh, LED lighting. So these are full animated uh, with sequential turns. So it's, it's really cool lighting technology that takes a presence here. All new front end. Um, so new grills, new mid fascias, new bumpers, a, a lot of new details here on the front end of the truck, okay. which gives it a, a bolder, uh, very premium look, especially with this new finish in the Vader Chrome. And well, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, I remember talking to you guys years ago about this colors on logos, right? So it was always, had to be the one logo, had to be the one color, had to be the one color. GMC. And then they, your team is telling me now that they can't keep the other colors in stock. Like people just are buying these things like crazy, switching out logos, switching out grills, whatever. I mean, it seems like this whole trend is going to midnight colors and darker colors and different styling in the market and stuff. Yeah, I mean, the, the red GMC is, is our brand, right? right. And, and, and so that's synonymous with us. But this is actually in the Vader finish right here that really just ties in the accents of the exterior. But certainly we offer those black elements and continuing to add to the accessory for portfolio for these customers they make the trucks their own yeah and and so we offer a, a really wide breadth of options uh, like like 22 inch wheels that we're gonna bring uh, to the heavy duty for the first time in this segment for instance so yeah we know accessorizing is a big part of it and and certainly the badging and and this is yeah, a new look, a distinct look uh, for the brand and, and on this trim level with the Vader finish on both the badging and, and some of the accents here. Yeah, so I will stop doing a Star Wars tunes in my head, but moving along, uh, we have, you said, are these 22s? No, no these so are, this these is the standard 20 inch wheel design. This is a new wheel design okay, here. Yep. Um, Dan will talk to you about the exterior, but we do have uh, accessory 22s um, that, that you check the box at the dealership and we'll come in. And uh, yeah, first time in a heavy duty and the team worked really hard to develop and get those into the program. We think it'll be a big win. We sell a lot of uh, custom wheels on, on these trucks. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, and, and the Denali trim has, like you said, been a big piece of your of your marketing and yeah. well, a big piece of your product mix. I mean, most people I know that go to GMC are going to be, they tell me that, I didn't go to GMC for an SLT. Like, I went for the Denali. That's why I went to the brand. Well, we, we offer a truck for everybody at all price points and configurations, but in the heavy-duty land, AT4 and Denali, uh, it represents 70% of our mix. And, and so a bulk of what we focus and, and sell and, and, and really our, our product 
product formula is, is to win at those premium price points here in the segment. And it just continues to push more and more. People want more features, more capability, more standard content, and, and that's really what this truck delivers here. And you were going with the Duramax as standard in this trim? We are, yeah. Okay. Yeah, similar product formula to the light duty. The 6.2 comes standard. You can option uh, the three liter diesel, but here in the heavy duty land, uh, over 90% of our mix on Denali's right now is, is a 6.6-liter uh, Duramax. So uh, new for 24, we've got an, an enhanced motor. We got some enhanced specs that Jay will talk to you about. So increased horsepower, increased torque, made it to that tried and true 10-speed Allison, um, and uh, we got we got improved power uh, across the entire operating range. But specifically at the low end, what the team really focused on here was a 25% improvement in that low end torque. That's really going to help you. Accelerate off the line, but pull those heavy loads when you're when you're trailering. And what are you hearing from customers? I mean, there's always a conversation going on. Like, I remember all these brands. Like, I can throw 37,000 pounds. I can throw 37, 100 pounds. And I was like, okay, what did that give you? 100 pounds. Like, what, what what's really happening there? I mean, isn't it the target like 26,000, 25,000? Isn't like 90 percent people in that range? Well, um, certainly that's the price of entry to this segment. It's a tool, and what a heavy duty customer wants uh, to know is, can, regardless of what I throw at it, it, it is it going to be capable? enough so um, we go up to 36,000 pounds on our one tons um, but we uh, the, the team actually brought some pretty significant enhancements to the three-quarter ton so here you can see on the badge we, we brought this new yeah. badge in here um, that, that tells you the tonnage of the vehicle um, the three-quarter ton crew crew cab that's that's the heart of the segment here that's where most of the volume is at um, we now have best-in-class crew cab 2500 towing and uh, a max of 22.5 uh, K on the uh, on the on the 2500. That's a 4,000 pound improvement in, in trailer rating. So much bigger numbers in this this three quarter ton package where a lot of the volume is at. But certainly you got to be capable in heavy duty space, and we and we certainly accent that with a, a lot of other things. But that's certainly part part of that's the number one reason for for purchase and what they're looking for. Is, is they're coming to tow. So. I'm so glad you pointed out the badge. And, and the only reason I'm bringing it up is we did the towing in 2019 with the new, when it first came out, the new heavy duties back then. And we couldn't tell what we were in. Yeah, you know, we're talking to the team and they're like, what are we in? They're like, well, <laughs> and I was like, that's, I mean, that to me is critical. I mean, it's just, it's just easier for customers to understand what they have going on there. Yeah, we have the, the name plates on the doors. Yeah. And that was something we, we thought a lot about and worked uh, with, with Dan and his team on is, where is that place? Because this does matter. Yeah, um, it's, easy, it's easier to tell you. So you can walk up and go, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. It, it just in your mind, or I think everybody in their mind has a separate weight in their own head what three quarter ton, one ton will do. Yeah. And so it just shows you what that's going to do. Exactly. Yep. But that's what, I mean, back in the day it used to be. All over the place. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm getting old. All right. Uh, what else we got going on from a working so, standpoint? So we got a lot, a lot to talk about. So this truck is the most advanced and luxurious pickup in its class. That's a statement that we stand behind with this vehicle. Um, when, when you stack up all the luxury amenities, all the capability, all the technology, all the premiumness that the team delivered inside the cabin, uh, we stand behind that statement. So um, that that was that was really the north star when when creating this product. Okay. But um, um, beside just the capability of the vehicle, the exterior, the design, there's a lot of technology in this vehicle now. Um, so we have a segment leading screen, so a 13.4 uh, all new infotainment uh, system. So that's largest in class. It's got the new Google built-in uh, compatibility that, that uh, comes with that standard three-year premium connected services plan. So everything just comes turnkey, ready to go uh, with that new Google built-in function. We got a 12.3-inch driver information center, uh, which is also largest in class. Our head-up display redesigned graphics on the 15-inch color head-up display rear camera mirror. But um, some, of the, some of the other enhancements that we really focused on this program was in the towing tech. Uh, standpoint. So, uh, uh, you know, from us is that it's been an area of focus to be the tow vehicle of choice. It's, uh, you know, one element is, is the capability, but the other element is um, doing it safely and confidently um, when you're tar uh, towing these heavy loads. So, in, in most cases, the, the trailer is more expensive than the truck. And, yes. And yes. so, um, keep, keeping, keeping you and your family safe going down the road and those on the environment. So, uh, enhancements to the camera views we got 14 camera views. One of the big enhancements that the team brought forth is transparent trailer. 
So people love that feature. Currently on today's truck, it works for conventional box style trailers, but uh, we, we have now set that up for uh, fifth wheel and gooseneck configurations. So all of these, all these trailering views that you can, you can have on your infotainment while you're, while you're driving and referencing what's around the trailer, whether you're backing up, parking, you're on a highway, merging lanes, all of that stuff, you can do it very safely. The other thing we added was trailer side blind zone alert, mm -hmm. which accounts for the length of the trailer and the side blind zone feature. You can use that with your turn signal view uh, with the red carpet overlay. So you really know when you're going down the highway, is it, is it safe to merge lanes? Uh, we added adaptive cruise control with trailering. So that feature now works with the, 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 the full gross combined weight of, of each of the vehicles that, that, that you purchase. And then uh, we got a full suite of safety technology. We have a gross combined weight alert. So over 25 uh, driver assistance trailering technologies in this truck. Um, you know, whether you're a novice or an experience or, you know, just, just to safely get you from destination to destination. Oh yeah, I mean, I talk to guys all the time. They're like, ah, I can back up my trailer by myself, ah, whatever. And I'm like, no, you haven't tried, <laughs> trust me. Transparent trailer move or camera is addictive. Like I stare at the thing all the time. Like I actually almost got an accident. I'm too busy looking at the screen, not looking where it's going. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fantastic te technology. And if you've never towed or if you tow a lot, you still find features that you like when you're off there towing. I've talked to many yep. guys who'd like, all right, fine, fine. I'll use a feature, fine, let's go in. But we're, you know, we're doing a lot more of that these days. We're doing like uh, secondary cameras, we're doing a lot of movement as, as far as technology goes. And so I think it's really interesting how much that segment has changed. Yep. I mean, it used to be just hook up and go, but now we have all this technology. And, and you guys do still the, the really good thing I like a lot is the VIN specific trailer and towing sticker on these. Yep. And so you look up actually for your VIN, for your vehicle, this specific one, what it actually tows. It's a very handy chart, easy to read stuff, easy to, to do. And I, I like the fact that 13.4 inch screen because I love all the cameras, but now I can see them. Yeah, it's exactly. fantastic. Yeah, and, it, and it's one thing to have a, a big, beautiful screen that takes out, but it needs to be functional here for heavy duty customers. Again, they're, they're very functional and uh, they want to see the information as they want to see it. So you can customize each side of the screen, however you want to display the information, the audio, um, or, or in the driver center head up display. That, that was an area of focus for us is, yeah, they're great screens, but they got to be very intuitive, easy to use, functional. Um, you know, for our customers. Right. So, so uh, what kind of what what cabs, configurations, and beds does the Denali Ultimate come with? So, uh, crew cabs only, crew cab um, only, but you can get it in uh, a 2500, so four wheel drive only. Duramax is the standard and only available engine. Um, so you can get in a, in a standard box configuration or a long box on the 2500, or you can get a 3500 standard single wheel, long box single wheel, or even the dually. So we we offer the full breadth of uh, crew cab uh, models and, and four wheel drive configurations. And in heavy duty, are you the same like in medium duty, light, or excuse me, light duty and heavy duty? I can straighten out. Um, you, the same configurations where like, you know, crew cab is your best seller, is yeah, that still the case? absolutely, it's our bread and butter. Um, you know, we, heavy duty, we do sell quite a bit of double cab and regular cab, more in, in, in the in commercial the small trip, business yeah, use sure. area, but uh, certainly uh, crew cab is, is the bulk of our mix. Okay, let's talk more about the exterior design and this Vader Chrome. My first question is, when they sent over the name Vader Chrome to you as marketing guy, were you like, oh, hold on a minute. I can't do that because Star Wars. Like, I can do that, but it's a cool name. Were you like, wow, what's going on with this? We love it. You know, you it love came it? over as a, as a design name on the finish and, and we absolutely loved it. So uh, it's really resonated and kind of stuck to, to what this is. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tent over Chrome process. Um, so it's still a little reflective, like like Denali, but uh, um, certainly a new take. So first use of that 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 material and the light duty and bring it forth. So, yeah, certainly a signature of what the Denali Ultimate is and and it looks cool. Yeah, it looks that. cool in this lighting. But I can tell you, out in you know the real world, it looks really cool too. Depending at night or during the day, it still still looks really good. Yeah, and obviously when you change colors, this contrast is, is quite significant. But, right. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, and what, what color was what color was this? So this is uh, our titanium rush metallic color. That's right. 
Um, so this has been the lead color we introduced on the light duty and the Yukon for, for consistencies, but we'll have seven colors available on this trim level, so okay. good variation. Okay, and then we have the functional scud hoop. There. Yes, so, yeah. so we still cool. have the, the functional uh, air intake here. Um, one of the new elements that they added here was just uh, one of those Vader chrome yeah, uh, yeah. I, trim pieces right usually here. Usually this so. is just open, but it really adds nice, nice design details to yeah. that. Yeah, it is. So all, all new front ends, all new grill right here. Um, we, we share this design with Denali, so all these accents that you see in, in the Vader chrome will be bright. On, on Denali over there. So new grill design really uh, emphasized to push that, that premium and bold presence here. So you see this large new cradle mm -hmm. that kind of wraps yeah. it around. So very precise and technical, but very bold and aggressive. Um, we have a, a, a little stamp on HD, so a lot of, lot of, lot of unique And we have a little bit, little bit different color. It feels like this is a little bit different color here than here. and. It just, it's interesting. Yeah, so this is actually uh, just another Vader touch right there, yeah. just above um, right. the fog lamps. Um, it, it, it's also brought down here into the lower skid skid area as well, so yeah. It's such a surprising difference from what I've seen traditional heavy duty trucks have. It's like, you know, my grandfather would be like, why do you need all this stuff? <laughs> it just, mm -hmm. But it looks really good. I mean, it's that, it's that new customer that wants that unique look, look to it. The rugged kind of design really wants to stand out. You yep. really have that in this truck. And so when you come around the sides, we have, you still have your Denali Heavy Duty spelled out. We still have the, the tote mirrors right there in the door. Yep. We do the ultimate here. Is this the same with the half times yeah, so where it's got it's the a, Denali background? It's a new badge and a new cradle for that badge. So it's, we brought it out. It's more pronounced, a uh, little bit more aggressive. And then we have an insert here where you can see some topography uh, shown with ultimate and, and obviously real subtly there you can see what your powertrain is with Duramax and, right. and the Allison transmission. And then we have the marker lights, we have the GMC marker light there, we have marker lights on top and we have the marker lights here in the mirrors. Yep. So they know we're coming. Yeah. Yeah, new wheel design here as well. So uh, standard 20 inch uh, polished aluminum. So it's an ultra bright finish there with black chrome. I'm sorry, with uh, gloss black inserts, new new uh, hubcap cover there. Uh, very similar den design that you'll see on the Denali's. Uh, the Denali's will, will kind of carry this design, but we'll have a uh, chrome bright accent here on the insert and a little little different color paint on, okay. on the interiors. But uh, first time ever, we're offering uh, 22 inch wheels. Uh, as an orderable option on these trucks, and and uh, um, we think uh, we think they're going to look outstanding as well, either 20s or 22s. Oh yeah, and they're a big buying feature. I mean, yeah. people people complain about them online, whatever, and I'm like, people buy the heck out of those things. Yeah, you know, absolutely. So we come around the side. We have chrome. Uh, Color matched yeah. door handles. Yeah, chrome, uh, chrome DLO, uh, chrome handles here. You can see the standard illuminated um, uh, power running board as well. Okay. Yep. And then, do we have any lighting on the side of the cab besides the marker lights? I guess just on I, just on the marker lamps just, right yep. there. You know, okay. now you got these new accents that you can pitch, pick oh, up yeah. here in the um, in the in the headlamps as well. Okay, and we have just a sunroof. Not a moon, we don't have the panorama, but we have just a sunroof. And then we have the steps there, and we come around here. We have the finish there. So what do we have in the back? Yeah, so the back, um, um, largely the same design here. Uh, new rear lamps. So again, that, okay. that animated uh, technology, all new uh, uh, LED. Uh, um, tail lamps here. Uh, what is new is you can kind of pick up the same finish here. So this Vader Chrome insert makes its way to the GMC badging. Um, as you know, the multi-pro tailgate kind of been a game changer for us. Mm -hmm. Our customers love it. Uh, we uh, similar to light duty. Uh, this comes standard with the truck as well. This is our multi-pro uh, kicker audio yeah, system. Yeah, that's a that's a cool uh, system. Yeah, so where you're tailgating or on the job site. Uh, you can you can crank up the tunes or listen to your podcast right right here as well. This is new too. I haven't, I didn't see that in half tons. This is a USB nope, hookup. Nope, that's there. Yeah, so yeah, you that's, have that's uh, handy. USB aux power, um, and you can actually install you know some additional lights that tie in with the bed bed lighting here as well. Okay, and we have the gooseneck hookup back here. We, is this a Dura bed or is this just a regular spray and bed liner? Uh, spray and bed liner. Um, you know that that's a, uh, a marketing name for for uh, you know our sister brand. But same thing there. You can see the Denali stand. In, into the into the rear of the bed here. We've got class lead and cargo volume on both standard and long, long box configuration. So pushing the well wells out, um, uh, making the, you know, um, in, in terms of the depth, but also the height of, of the bed itself. So we fit a lot more cargo volume here in the same space than, than our competitors do. 12 standard tie downs. You can go up to 24 throughout this with, with these plug inserts, uh, you know, in and around the bed as well. So 
plenty of place to, to tie in. You got your power sources, both for your, you know, your hookups on your fifth wheels, but also oh, yep. back here in the bed outlet as well. Yeah, very cool. Yep. Okay, let's talk about this. This is the Denali. It used to be the top of the line, but we have you know new one, new player in the marketplace. But so this still looks pretty good, though. Yeah, it's an outstanding uh, truck. So uh, it, you know, finish in, in the signature bright chrome Denali finish here. Uh, we have elevated this trim level significantly as well, both inside and out. Uh, but a lot of those design elements that we talked about for 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 Denali Ultimate come forward here. So all of the redesigned grill elements, this nice. Uh, 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 cradle here surrounding the grill, really pushing things out, a really bold and uh, prominent presence uh, like the other trim. And so you can see right. we brought this same finish in here, now mm -hmm. it just comes in, 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 in bright. Um, and we have the, the red GMC coloring, yep, yep. same styling, heavy duty here, just different. You can see the chrome mixes together. And you know, a lot of times it's really bright, shiny chrome, but I think in this case it works. I mean, especially this light, I'm sure during the day it's like a lot, but people, people always argue with my YouTube channel about chrome, and I'm like, people still like chrome a lot. We, uh, we, got, uh, we really got a truck um, for, for every personality, so when, when right. you're talking AT4, Yeah, because AT4 Denali is all Ultimate. blacked out, yeah. and then this, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. Okay, very cool. And then um, so, you got a hubcap here. Yeah, so, so here like, this that, is... That, that is like a... That's a man's head cap, you know. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a larger wheel too. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we had 17. Uh, yeah, so we course, traditionally with a ton. with a dually wheel, it's um, yeah, you can't do a lot with it aesthetically. So we we wanted to have a, a really good looking dually wheel on a, on, a, on a premium truck like this. So this is a new 18 inch wheel, brand new. First time we've had an 18 inch um, uh, uh, diameter on a wheel. All new hubcap right there to kind of brighten things up. And then we bring that back to the to the rear of the truck as well. So uh, larger, more premium look. Um, all new hubcap there, very yep. uh, very prominent. Um, here in the uh, the wheel wells. Um, yeah, that was a change. Don't they come yeah. standard though? They do. They will now. So yep. we've we've never had uh, wheelhouse liners in the dually. So you would see the paint of the box coming in. So we think uh, you know obviously it has function to it, um, but uh, it also looks much better aesthetically. We think so. Really yeah. cool to bring that in. Yeah, very much so. We have a lot of people doing stuff with wheel wells these days, making them easier to spray off, easier to clean. Yeah, there is. It's really, it's like easy. the arguments yeah. we're having these days about trucks now are like headliner material and wheel wells, and they're like, what, what are you talking about these days? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then around the back, we have does this this light tines into your brake lights, right? Yeah, so I can turn it on and, and maybe show you guys how the, uh, the, yes. the turn light it up. works on them. So I'm just going to show you the uh, the turn signal swipe here on both the, okay. the front and rear. Wow, oh, that looks pretty cool. That gets your attention. Yeah. I actually I really like this look there. Plus tied in, plus the marker lights down here. That's easy to see as far, if you're like behind the, the truck as well. Yeah, and come chunk it out on the the front end here. Yeah. Oh, so it ties in the tow mirror too. Yep. That's cool. So what's really cool here is it, it doesn't go amber dark, right? It's it's going, it, it goes it's maintaining white, yeah. the the white LEDs and and, and bringing in the uh, the amber color for the turn signal there. Right. And we said earlier these are all LED lights throughout the lineup. Yep. Very cool. All right. Now I'm here with. Uh, Jay Pegram, I'm the chief engineer of the GMC pickups. Okay, and we're going to talk about these GMC pickups. So we have, again, we're in front of the Denali Ultimate. So let's kick this things off because I know the big one of your big changes was the improvements in the 6.6 liter Duramax, right? Yeah, we're really excited about it. This year we're um, offering 470 horsepower and 975 foot-pounds of torque. And we've focused all that, uh, or most of that, on the low end. We've got a 25% improvement in torque on the low end where customers can really use it towing and moving heavy loads. Of course, the torque is um, increasing across the entire range. And we did that between um, a redesign of some of the key components of the engine, including the turbocharger, a much more efficient turbocharger, and the combustion system. We redesigned the combustion bowl, have injectors with higher pressure and higher flow rate to allow for a more efficient, powerful engine for our customers. 
and I get always get questions a lot of people always like, these trucks have grown so tall and everything's changing and stuff, but when you look at this grill, look behind the grill, we have quite a bit of airflow now, you've enhanced the airflow going through. Well, this is something that Plus we work, we, the, we work very closely with design on, right? Because once it looks beautiful, that um, you know makes a statement, but it has to function, right? Right. And so we make sure we get all the flow that can go through there. We do back cuts inside the grill and everything to make sure the flow's laminar, gets the engine, and delivers the power. In fact, we added this um, little detail here. It looks beautiful. Didn't affect the flow rate at all. And yep. this is really close conjunction working with our design partners to make sure, and our engineering and our modeling, to make sure we can get all the performance we can and the beauty customers want. Yeah, and that's something I hear a lot of people are always like, well, how much this engine tow? Like, well, it's not just the engine towing. We have a cooling going on. We gotta keep it cool. We gotta keep turbos cool. Because cool. turbos like to run hot, but like cold air, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And and that's where all this flow is really important. And it's more than that, right? It's it's the frame. It's the leaf springs. It's everything in the component set. So to get our um, towing and, and the 2500 series um, this year, we're gonna have a max towing at 22.5, and then our crew cab models at uh, 21.9. So yep. this is a real big improvement over where we we're in the past. And it comes with this, you know, because of this great engine and a component set that supports it. Okay. All right, so let's talk about transmission. So you did 10 speed across the board? Yeah, so we've had the 10 speed um, um, Allison on, on the Duramax, and, but coming into 2024, we've also taken that same transmission and made it to our 6.6 .6 liter um, gas, gas engine. engine as well. So we're gonna get that really good reliability, smoother shifting, and actually you know more capability um, across our entire lineup. Okay, and one of the questions, uh, uh, this can cut the hard one, let's write it, I hear it all the time. It's an Allison branded transmission. What do you take that criticism? People talk about that. Well, we, we just know it's a great transmission. Our customers love it. It does the job, and um, it just it is is what it needs to be to make the customers happy. Yeah, absolutely. Not really going to fight over what the name of the badge you go. That's internet stuff. You can fight about that stuff. Other engineering stuff done. You, did you change the frame at all? Do any improvements to the frame? Um, we brought in the more capable co component set for our a heavy uh, towing package uh, for the the. Um, um, Three quarter ton. So we, we did bring in the heavy duty frame to allow for the 22.5 and the okay. and, and on the max towing the 21.9 and the. And when it comes to the towing power, I mean, you've done many towing tests with this vehicle quite a bit. You totaled big loads, things, things yeah. like that. Um, did you find that with the frame and different engines, it was easier to tow that heavier weight? Um, you know, it, it, it just very smooth. It, it's um, you know, you really don't feel you know. You, Behind these, we were out recently with 10,000 pound trailers. It's like there's nothing there. Plus, with your transparent trailer, you know you're looking. Yeah, there's literally know, nothing there. There's li literally <laughs> nothing there. Um, but also, with the camera views we get, if you want to change lanes, it will show you um, what's in that lane next to you and whether it's clear to come over. And that gives you tons of confidence. You drive around here, and, and we were in the Detroit area doing this traveling, um, and heavy traffic, and you know when to come over. You can do it with confidence, and that's what we want to give our customers: confidence in the power, confidence in what they can see, and and you know, to make the um, maneuvers they do drive safely. Okay, let's talk about some changes here with the three-quarter ton with the max towing package. What they did here, and they made a lot of changes, really cool to get that max towing, is number one, we have a three, th the one-ton frame on three-quarter ton, because we have the Vistra deer frame. We also have more leaf springs. We actually have a diff more leaf springs on here, which is from the one ton. We have different shocks set up there, and we have a larger 12-inch rear axle that comes from one ton. So they basically take the, the max towing features from the one ton, add three-quarter ton, and so this is just, well, beefier, and it can tow more. And the interesting part is it's a 342 rear axle ratio on the diesel, and 373 rear axle on the grass. You may be thinking, oh my gosh, that's not a 410, that's enough, but here's the deal. With today's transmissions, the way the transmission shifting happens, they've been able to basically replicate that 410 towing prowess with that smaller rear axle and get the same towing performance. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with the light duty Denali Ultimate yeah. at this point. So what you're seeing here is is essentially the same interior that's in the in the light duty trucks. You know, just because this is a, a workhorse of a truck doesn't mean we dumb down the luxury of it at all. It's still capable of doing everything that a, a heavy duty truck can do. It just does it with a lot more luxury. Uh, so there are a few subtle differences between a light duty and a heavy duty truck. And 
the belt line is one of those. So our belt line is oh, 20, yeah. 25 millimeters lower in an heavy duty okay. versus a light duty. And we took that that material out of here. Um, that gives you better outward visibility. So it makes it a little bit safer. We're sitting higher, so we need to be able to see. Um, so yeah, we sucked 25 mils out of here, which displaced the model designation badges that we have in our, our light duty trucks. But we moved it over here to the console. So you still get the nice deco feature of these, these cool electroform badges. Okay. Um, so that's one difference too. See the console shifter move back to the steering column. Yep. It's just kind of better for heavy duty sort of use, gloved hands. Um, it's just very Yeah, I've talked to lots of people plowing snow and towing and stuff like that. They exactly. just love to grab it and go low gear, or high yep. gear, back and forth. Yep. And so speaking of those people, um, you notice we we gained a little bit of a storage tray here. Um, yep. But also what that does is we offer an up up fair switch package. So we have a five bank of switches that integrates really well in here. We have a brand new trim okay. plate that integrates that. So it doesn't look like a afterthought when you when you go and add that feature. Uh, and that allows you to run your snow plows, you know, PTOs, lights, whatever you want to run off an accessory. Uh, maintain the position of your uh, trailer brake. So it's still easy to find, easy to use. Inductive phone charger is still in the same place. Again, it's a great place to keep your phone without it being distracting. That is like that. I mean, that right there is like best in class. Like I don't know you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna use your marketing words, but I've used a lot of these inverters and chargers and stuff. And it slides in. It connects every time, and it doesn't get so hot. That's the biggest thing I think with with cell phone chargers. Yeah, they put them down here. The sun shines on them. They get hot. They're heating up. Right. It overheats. And, and you're really you're you're baking it in this kind of cave here, where you have a, a large volume of space in here where this phone can actually breathe. It looks like right. it's. I mean, it looks like it's totally. Covered, yeah, it, but yeah. You actually, have it's all this storage volume. Best. That yep. Allows that heat to dissipate. So. Yep. Yep. It's a great place for it. Like, like that still have your um, connectivity with your USB USB C here. Another set inside the inside the glove box and a 110 volt outlet as well. So okay. plug in anything you need to plug in. Um, yeah, other than that, we've we've carried the 12.3 inch screen and the 13.4 cluster with the 15 inch HUD. Same thing you'll find in the light duties. Um, and we have our secretive glove box. Yes. Our, <gasps> Yeah, which is awesome because it's flocked inside. So you throw sunglasses or any hard object in there, and it doesn't like tr instantly turn into a maraca. You know, when you start. Really? To, yeah. So nice. this is all nicely lined and huh. soft. Yeah. So makes sense. Just the way it should be in a luxury vehicle. And then this this start stop switch isn't it different? Is it different throughout the trims? Like it doesn't heavy duty? Does it change? Like a different? Sorry, it's different trims. But it's same same styling. It's. It's the same switch that you'll find in all of our up-level GMC interior. So this this being our premium uh, GMC interior, which comes in you know AT4 Denali and Denali Ultimate, um, that's the, it's the only this switch you can get in this interior, and it doesn't come in any other lower trim level. So like SLE SLT has a round the, start size. Right. Yeah. That, that's the right? yep. So it's exclusive to this interior. Okay, and then the the interior color. This is a mocha kind of brown interior. Is that the only choice in the Ult Denali Ultimate? Um, yeah, it is. And I think okay. Anna will, will be very yeah. good to explain that we'll to talk you. More about the materials. the uh, color and trim designer on this. So. And, and from, from your aspect, from your work, I mean, I've been in some design studios. They spend a lot of time looking at, like, sun glare coming in. Mm -hmm. They have, like, you know, the labs that talk about sun glare coming in. They talk about visibility a lot. I mean, those are those big keys for you? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're always talking about mitigating reflection and veiling glare. So veiling glare being, like, light that bounces off the IP and back into the windshield again. Uh, piano black is something that we're, we're constantly evaluating you know, glare on. If you get glare coming in the side and it, you know, bounces off here straight, in, straight into your eyes, it's it's a bad thing. So all of that stuff gets done in, um, in like, um, different types of computer analysis. So we have all kinds of programs that, you know, predict reflections and we do things to mitigate, you know, how much or, you know, to, to prevent you from being blinded. Right, right. Because you know? I think driving while blinded is a bad thing. It's generally not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And speaking, so I, I don't want to hop in the second row, but I'll talk about second row a little bit as far as there's a lot of battle, it seems like, going on in the segment about second row. I mean, we're getting heated outboard seats these days. We're getting a bunch of USBs back that we can slightly recline. I mean, yeah. it is, it's kind of crazy that the industry has changed now that second row has become such a big thing. Yeah, second uh, second row hasn't been skimmed on at all in this vehicle. So like you're saying, um, heated, heated and cooled seats in the front row, heated seats in the second row. Um, again, all of the, the color and trim that you're finding up here with all of the fantastic materials and stitching, whatnot, the storage features that we're in the light duty, it's all back there. The the second row is uh, is just as pampered as the front row is in this vehicle. And I mean, leg room, I mean, how's your leg room back yeah, there? Good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, even Phil fits. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's fantastic. I wouldn't yeah. mind riding back there on a long trip. It's nice. It's I know, it used to be the penalty box, now it's yeah, not so much. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, remember the, the uh, 
like the 800 pickup days where it was like a church pew, you know, you're <laughs> sitting like it feels like you're actually being pushed over forward. Yeah, right, in the right. Seat. Oh, it was it was brutal riding in those trucks. So you're like, I'm becoming a GM interior designer, so I can fix that. Yeah, that was no. your mission statement. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm fix that second row seat. Yeah. No, yeah, it was, it, they have they have improved a, a ton over the probably the last 10 years. The second row has really grown in pickup trucks, and rightfully so. I mean. You're going to haul a lot of kids, but you're going to haul a lot of adults back there, too, especially in trim levels like this where they're, I mean, these things are, these are going out on the town yeah. type nice vehicles. And yeah, it wouldn't yeah, be uncommon common to have two sets of adults riding in here. Right. You don't pick up your friends and pay, you know, yeah. you know shove them in the back and be right. like, oh, deal with it, you know. Yeah. Well, depending how good friends you are, what's going to happen with them. <laughs> and now I'm with? Hannah Dunbar, CMF designer for GMC. CMF designer. CMF, color materials and finishes. So wow, I learned we a new take marketing term. the awesome interior design that the team puts together and we apply those three things to all of the surfaces to differentiate all the different trim levels. Okay, and so you probably know the names of all these colors and woods I and do. stuff. Yes, yeah, so we're sitting in the Denali Ultimate Interior that we're calling the Alpine Umber Interior. Okay. Um, so this comes one way, fully curated with all the different colors and finishes that you see here. Um, lots of leather content in this interior, so the seats that you're sitting on are 100% real leather. Uh, consoles, doors, um, basically all of the soft trim that you're going to touch in this vehicle is real, authentic leather. Okay, and I've talked to other designers as well. I mean, there's a lot of decisions made with the different leather choices. I mean, I've seen some designer offices, it's like they got books full of different styles and colors yes. and such. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a, a smooth grain that we have here for Denali Ultimate that has a secondary process applied to it that we call a Sauvage print. So you'll notice that this leather isn't just a solid color. It actually has a little bit of yeah. modeling to it and variation that gives it that really rustic, worn-in, uh, premium look to it. And then when we look at the standard Denali, you'll notice that the grains are completely different and signature to, to, to Denali. Right, and you even talk about like the, the stitching here. You have lots of different types of stitching, mm -hmm. different stitching design and stuff, and that's part of your, your design thoughts too, right? Yes, so lots of layering of details on the seats and throughout the whole interior. So we've got the beautiful accent stitching and piping. This is a signature stitch for Denali Ultimate that we call plated. Denali has its own signature stitch. We have topographical map embossed into the leather here. That topographical map is something that you'll kind of see and notice as you're in, inside and outside the vehicle. I think there's like 17 different instances of places we've hidden that map mm. throughout the interior. Yeah. Um, so we've got in, in the background of these badges here, as well as the coordinates of the, the summit of Mount Denali, of course, where the name Denali comes from. Right. And we felt it very appropriate to kind of pay homage to that um, and kind of elevate what this interior really is. This is the peak of Mount Denali. This is the peak, the pinnacle of GMC. Cool. Now, I've been feeling these headliners lately. Yes. And this is a whole new argument place for different trucks and stuff. So what do we have for headliner here? So this is a synthetic suede material that we have on the headliner and the pillars. Very premium feature that we have in Denali Ultimate. Wow. My 62 doesn't even have a headliner. It's just, Not at all. It's just steel. <laughs> like, we're like real men, whatever. Yeah. Going. But th this is a new frontier. I mean, these materials and the material choices now, I mean, used to be there's just a luxury car decision making, but now in a full size truck, and the price point matters in this situation too, where that, that buyer is more of a premium buyer. They really want that, they kind of want that luxury feel inside the truck. Yeah, absolutely. So we had a really great foundation laid with the standard Denali of really premium materials. I think Denali really is synonymous with premium. And with Denali Ultimate, we kind of just cranked everything up and took it truly to the luxury space. Yeah. And then how much time do you spend on these materials as far as whether they're a soft touch or hard leather? I mean, there was a lot of argument going on there. So yeah, we really evaluated every single surface in here that the customer's either going to look at or touch or interact with and really make sure that, especially in the Denali Ultimate, it's going to be truly a luxury experience and they're going to be putting you know, their, their selves in, in an environment that feels like home. Yeah, and I think I've talked to you guys before about this. This leather feels a little bit harder than other vehicles out there, but there's a lot of durability built into having a little bit hard, harder leather. Yes, yeah, so this is a luxury environment, but also needs to be used. So we wanted to make sure that all the materials look and feel great, but are actually going to stand the test of time yeah yeah well i'm pretty comfortable great all right we're done we'll just sleep here we'll see you later guys <laughs> anything else i missed so more premium and authentic materials in here authenticity is something that's really important to this customer um, genuine wood deco on the ip in the doors this is an open pour paldeo wood paldeo wood is a premium material that this customer may be familiar with fine furniture that they have in their home we have real laser etching and that topographical map pattern on the wood. This is authentic aluminum deco across the IP and on your steering wheel that actually has like a haptic touch to it. And the color of this harmonizes really nicely with that Vader chrome that you have on the exterior. So great correlation into
interior and exterior design. Yeah, so I mean, those guys outside came to you with this Bader Chrome, and you're like, oh, great, I gotta deal with this thing. What's going on with this? So color and trim is responsible for all of the colors oh, and finishes yeah. on interior and exterior. So did you find Bader Chrome? I did. You did? Yeah. So was it in like the back catalog in the very bottom section? No, Bader is cool. It was at the top of the list. You know, it yeah. had to be had to be for the ultimate. Oh man, that's it's 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 a cool, cool name and everything. Yeah, fantastic. All right, so let's we're inside the Denali, and so we see some visually immediately see the differences. So we see yeah. different material colors here. We diff we don't have the Denali engraved in the paleo wooden. Paldeo. <laughs> Close. Very close. All right. So, and what else? What am I missing here that I'm not seeing? So the Denali comes in two different colorways for light duty and heavy duty. We're sitting in the brownstone interior, which is a two-tone brown. It also comes in a full black. Both interiors have authentic materials with uh, different aluminum trim than what we saw in the Denali Ultimate. So this as well has a pattern and texture unique to Denali. And then this is an open pour wood finish um, just for Denali that actually has a hand sprayed gradation effect on it. Hmm. So a really great um, demonstration of craftsmanship in this interior that this customer really appreciates. Okay. And then we have different Denali here. We have don't different have the Denali same badge. badging, different perforation, different perforation and, and details on your seats. Um, and then this grain here, you'll notice, is very different yeah. than what we saw in the Denali Ultimate. So while Denali Ultimate is very soft and smooth, this is a little bit more rugged and heavier grained. So this grain is exclusive to the standard Denali. Hmm, interesting. Um, any other changes that I'm uh, well? Your headliner let's here feel is the headliner. fabric. Okay. Yeah. We no longer have the leather wrap grab oh, handles. Right, Those yeah. are for the Denali Ultimate. Okay. Um, still a great interior. Again, it was a great foundation to start with. Definitely feels premium. Um, and then we just cranked it up with the Denali Ultimate. So. Yeah, very cool. All right, there you go. There's my day with the GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Denali Ultimate. It's a mouthful, but it's a truck of a mouthful, man. And lots of cool features here. We all start with Denali as well. And so put comments down below. What do you guys think? Is this the new pinnacle of full-size trucks and the premium segment or like a luxury segment? Or do you think other brands done better? Here's your thoughts. Put them down below. Check out the other videos over here. Website down below as well. PickupTruckTalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.